man you get another video sheesh so in japan they got um these they're like um recycle shops um antique shops uh pawn shops if you may you got off house hobby off and there's a book off and there's a i forget the name but they sell clothing and it's really cheap like it's used kind of stuff but I mean, depending on what, what your situation is when you're out here, you can get a lot of cool stuff. So let's see what they got up in here. They got shoes. I mean, I never, when I came out to Japan, I would never wear someone else's shit unless it's family whatever but uh i don't buy clothes man like what i'm wearing i, I had it for about two years man i wear it till it falls off so it's like now that that's it because all my money's going to music and paying bills and shit and i'm old and you know i ain't out here stunting but yeah but yeah man you can get some stuff And, and if you want that retro look, it's out here. Yo, you know how I used to buy my Vizu clothing? A couple years back, I was in one of these shops and I found them. Let's see if I can find them again. Vizu, Vizu. Let's see here. Vizu. You know, I don't have any jeans. Like the last jeans I had were my Vizu jeans, which was like two sizes, 10 sizes too big for me. All right, where we at? Well, you ain't gotta see them, but the fact is they had it here and it was like really, really cheap. Maybe it's here. Maybe. Yeah, well, I didn't come here to show you them, but it, trust me, you can buy those pants here. And then they have like equipment. Here's some TVs. I don't know if I showed my TV before, but my TV in my house is smaller than this. They got some wires. Okay. Vacuum stuff. I need a vacuum. Just random stuff, you know? Headphones. And your pool table. Like if, like if you're having kids out here, like you can get all this six thousand. There's no reason to be spending a lot of money on shit that you. Cause here's the thing, when I when I bought my expensive ass uh, Evizu shit, eventually I got tired of it and I tried to sell it, and uh, you know I paid like three hundred bucks for one pair of pants. I know, I know. And then they say they're gonna buy it for thirty dollars. No, I'm good. All right, keep your eyes open, cause they got rare stuff. I don't know if it's rare or not, but. If you see it. Yeah, 
Yo, maybe I should pick a prize from here. It's some random. Like, look at this. Oh, I don't know if it's new or old. Because, you know, sometimes they release certain things in different countries. So, yeah. videos some guns air guns remote I bet they got a drone in here let's see if there's a drone somewhere yeah, up right there's a drone not my drone oh, here's a drone they really do got my drone hydro drone playstations we games I had that one back in the day Dolls. I mean, I don't know what you guys are into, but what about one of these? I don't think we can buy these in the States. Or I don't think we can like walk out the store and not be ridiculed. I, I don't know. Maybe the things are changed. But back when I was growing up, if you were playing with dolls. It wasn't a thing to do. I actually need to get a rice cooker. But yeah, you get the idea. They got a lot of stuff here. It's relative. And, and the cool thing, because maybe my experience in the States, when you sold your stuff, it's because you needed the money. Like you were desperate to sell it. And usually it wouldn't have been in the best condition because it's just the lifestyle you have but it seems in japan they really take care of their things it still has the box and the manuals and all that the wrapping it came in so you know it's basically new practically new so i recommend it book off if you have one in your city all right so there you go you get all that extra shit i wasn't even going to make this kind of video all right i'm out